Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I pick you out a really tricky old question that's hopefully going to help you prepare for the demands of your GCSE Maths exam. Now, I'll be honest with you, you are in for a flipping treat today. One of my favourite topics. Technically, it's down as being new to GCSE, but a lot of Year 11s um, in the past will have studied this, but it's it's one of those you've in the past, it was kind of optional whether you covered it or not. Now you definitely need to cover it because there's a lot more emphasis on it. And it's all to do with equations of circles. So this question has been provided uh, for diagnostic questions by OCR. It's a really nice question. What is the length of the diameter of a circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 5? Right. What do we know about equations of circles? So let me get my uh, let me get my pen out here. There it is there. And let me draw myself a little set of axes. And let me draw myself a circle. This could be interesting. I'll tell you what, not the worst circle I've ever drawn. Right, if that is the circle x squared plus y squared equals 5, what do I know about that circle? Well, hopefully you know that this number there, that 5, is it the radius? It's not quite the radius. It's the radius squared. So the radius squared is equal to 5. Because equations of circles look like this. x squared plus y squared is equal to whatever the radius is squared. Okay. So it's not true that my radius of this circle is 5. What's true is that my radius of this circle is, well, if radius squared is equal to 5, oops, sorry, my radius is going to be equal to the square root of 5. So what I can actually do, and I'd advise you do this, you can actually mark on points on your uh, on your graph. So that's going to be minus root 5, and that's going to be minus root 5. So now I've actually got my circle on my axes, and I can see that the radius of this circle is the root of 5. So how does that help me get my answer? Well, the question's asked for the diameter. So the diameter of the circle is going to be the full distance across the circle. So it's going to start at the outer, go to the center, and then go to the outer. Well, that's actually not too bad, right? Because a diameter is just going to be equal to two radiuses, right? We know that the diameter is double the radius. So my diameter of my circle is going to be two lots of the radius of my circle. And the radius of my circle, I've said before, is root 5. We've worked that out. So my diameter is just 2 root 5. So that's not actually that bad. But I'll tell you what, hardly anyone's getting it right. Where are they going wrong? Well, let's just take a quick look at it here. Root 10. I have sympathy for root 10. Root 10 could come from realizing that your radius is root 5. And then saying, all right, we need two lots of my radius. So two lots of root 5. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, so 2 lots of root 5 is root 10. No, 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 no. You've got to know your rules of thirds. 2 lots of root 5 is 2 root 5. You can't combine thirds in that way. If it helps, think of it as this way. 2 lots of root 5 is root 5 plus root 5. Imagine it was like x plus x. That's just 2x, right? So root 5 plus root 5 is just 2 root 5. So be careful with that. That's not a mistake with circles. That's a mistake with thirds. Um, 10, where would 10 come from? Well, I reckon 10 comes from if you think your radius is actually 5 instead of it being root 5, then all of a sudden you're going to get an answer of 2 lots of 5, which is going to be 10. So that comes from thinking your radius is equal to 5 and getting that particular one wrong. Um, what about 5 itself? Two reasons I reckon students will get 5. It's a good one, this one, if I do say so myself. Radius, uh, if you think your radius is root 5, you may do to yourself, okay, my diameter is two lots of root five, and you think, well, that's the same as squaring it. Root five times root five, which is going to be five. But of course, it's not two lots of root five isn't the same as squaring root five. Two lots of root five is not five. It's two root five. Or it could be students simply um, saying to themselves, maybe I think that number at the end is my diameter, and just writing it down there. Either way, it's not quite the right answer. So where does that leave us? Well, Leaves us with equations of circles. It's a tricky old topic. Learn this. Definitely get that bit learnt. Very, very, very important. But then be prepared because they could well, in the exam, combine this with knowledge of thirds, like has happened here. It's not enough just to know topics in isolation. You've got to be prepared to combine them. Um, I normally ask at this stage, what other wrong answer would you include? 
To be honest with you, I think most of them have been there. Um, I've been tempted to include Route 5. You can imagine Route 5 coming into play. That's the radius, and maybe students have, have misread that, um, misread diameter for radius. That would be a little bit unlucky if that was the case. But yeah, just, just be careful um, with things like this, basically. Um, get revising equations of uh, a circle. Um, use this on mrbartonmaths.com. Um, loads of stuff, videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. Um, and do the quiz. Do the rest of this quiz on diagnostics. It'll really, really help you prepare for the demands of this GCSE. Anyway, hope that was helpful. I'll see you for a fresh video next week. Take care. Bye for now.